comes. He is slow as fuck. So here we are, enter the dungeon. Um, I have deleted my save. So um, what's fun with this is that there is only one save file. You can't access it, you can't do anything with it. You're just playing through that save file forever, it seems like. Um, but I wanted to give everyone a full idea of it. So I went into the um, cloud saves and deleted my save. So let's just move on and learn what we need to do. What do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess, here to change the past, right? Well, you're not the first, but there's no salvation here. I was once like you, came to change the past, and now I have no future. I think that's how he laughs. In we go. To be honest, I think I could have gone here anyway. The Walls of Knowledge, Chamber Zero. We would soul approach me in press X to speak. They're all gonna have voices. We're gonna do it that way. For it is I, Sir Manuel. Or Sir Manuel, the Manuel. Yes. Heed my words, I shall show you how to survive this accursed labyrinth. Uh, continue through the door and begin your tutelage. Um, but yeah, there's four different characters that you can play as. Um, we're going with um, the Marine. Um, you can flip tables for cover. Lovely. Go on. This is the most important lesson. You can dodge by pressing L1 in a, di a direction. Yeah, you're invulnerable to gunfire during the first half of the dodge roll, but vulnerable again when you hit the ground. This means you can dodge through bullets and other hazards. It requires precise timing. That's basically where I found um, I had the issue. I... Oh, oh, he's now letting me go. Oh, I'm pressing R1. So you basically can dodge through, and this is the big mechanic of this game. Ooh. Nice work. Uh, and they can also jump over things. Cool. I, it was also a good way for me to remember what I was meant to do. Yeah, no, I can do it if I do it right. Nailed it. The dodge roll is the first, first and best way, there you go, we'll go back to the voice, to avoid dying in a gunfight. Sometimes the number of bullets can be overwhelming. For instance, there's no dodging through that, but there is a way to clear the path. These are good blanks. I also forgot to use these. Really forgot to use these when I was playing the game. Just pick both of those up and we can clear all the guns. Nice. What was I trying to say? Oh yeah. Hello. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> That's where I was trying to go um, before I started doing onward and things like that. Is he going to give me a gun yet? If I didn't want experience. Oh. Now I've got a gun. Cool. Pea shooter. Baby's first gun. So, yeah, it's twin stick shooter style. And you shoot bullets with guns, obviously. There we go. I'm really not great with... I think this is where I fell apart. I bought a game where the mechanics are really something I struggle with. Twin stick shooters are something I've never been good at you doing. But I, I can sort of get away with it. Sort of get away with it. I mean, it's... What I'm going to have to do is move the mic in a second because I am unlocking a bunch of my... So let me know if that's affected how I sound or it's still okay, because I can't keep it where it was, because I couldn't see the bottom part of the screen. Over here, you made it. You know how to dodge roll, shoot, and use blanks, but there's one more thing to learn. He's used how to use items that don't exist in gun form. This medkit, for example, will replenish your health. Pick it up and press X. Cool. R2 to use it. 
So there's items in the bottom corner. I don't think I even used the items in the bottom corner. I must have done. Must have done. So yeah, teleporters can get you back through. Got it. How do I get there? There we go. Oops. Ah! That's right. So we got to the head teleporter and I immediately threw myself into the drink. So if I press R2, yeah, I heal. Boom, boom. So the, there are four characters. I'm playing as the Marine. The Marine starts with a an all right gun and he also has um, armor which is what the helmet was I was wearing I think that's his big things but ultimately it's just shoot through and um, when I was playing it I played for about three two three hours something like that um, and at no point did I make it to level 3, I could only make it far, as far as the boss on level 2. Couldn't get past there, so big wins today if I can get further. Right, guys, shoot me through a table if you dare. Oh no, just walk around the table. It all backfired! Almost got me, almost got me. There we go. Another blank. Not that we need it yet, because I will forget to use them anyway. Um, only been using those in the certain boss fights that it feels like you have to use a blank or you're absolutely back in the screen. There we go. Let's get into the other door. It's very sort of not simple, but simplistic. You know what you've got to do. There's nothing here that I think really reinvents the genre or reinvents how you play, but it's good, solid game that does exactly what it's meant to. Um, I just wish I was better at it. He says, Speak with me and you're ready for the final challenge. Are you ready for, to put all you have learned to the test? Then face me in single combat. Okay. Oh, yeah. And he's gone. Cease fire, cease fire, you bless me. I, the great man, well. So long I have ruled these halls, only to be undone by the likes of you. The reign of Sir Manuel, master of the dungeon, ends unceremoniously. When you have done it, you have beat the entire game. <laughs> then leave me here alone to die, sob. Um, obviously this isn't the entire game. Uh, this is just the tutorial area. Um, the entire game is basically that, though. Um, we come to the breach. And... Basically, go into the gungeon. That's it. We're gonna just keep running loops in the gungeon, trying to find ways to upgrade ourselves to then do better and better. It's, it's you know, I say this is what it is, but that's what a roguelike is. So I shouldn't really go. Come on, this is all the game is. This gun is better than pin shooter, though. I will say that. corner immediately there, didn't they? Absolutely stymied me. Absolutely got me. Also, I only have one rule today for anyone watching. It's uh, don't spoil Alien Romulus for me. I know I've seen people watching it and uh, I am so excited to see it. <laughs> I know I've said that out loud now, so I'm probably doing it myself, but 
Go away, dude. 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 There we are. I don't really like the bow, like the, the crossbow, but it is a powerful one-shot weapon. It doesn't help that I can't aim. Foul beasts. Ah. Um, oh, I thought he was dead. Two shots of those. Okay. That's okay. We can deal with two shots. I assume. I don't know if they are. I've always assumed those are currency, but they might be ammo. I'm not sure. The currency? They must be currency, surely. The little bullet casings that come in. Oh god, that's right. that table, didn't I? Who'd have thought me getting stuck on a piece of terrain? My greatest enemy. Terrain and walls. Uh, okay, that's oh, and I found a half-half. Perfect. And here is the shop man. He gets very angry if you shoot in his shop. What do they do? I can't afford him anyway. Can I buy that key? I'll buy that key though. Also, he wants me to give him stuff. I don't know how to give him anything. Not a clue on how to give him stuff. Oh, it's a cat! Yeah, I'm not gonna do. See, he doesn't like he doesn't like me shooting in here. If you shoot too much, he attacks you, then leaves. Oh, I should have teleported as well, but oh well. Live and learn. On we go. Uh, that's the boss room, so we won't go through there yet. Any game with a cat is good. I mean, that's the first time I've noticed the cat, so it shows how. Little I was paying attention to what he actually had in his store. Or I was just paying attention to his store. That's done. What's funny is I never played it with the sound. Uh, oh, what, what's this? Magic sweets, free stats. Is this how I check what I just got? Improves health, movement, speed, and damage. So it's just improved me overall. That's nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, I do feel like faster in general, and I've got an extra heart. That is a really nice thing I got there, so I'm glad I spent the money. Let's go check out this room that's over here that we've uh, not touched. I also can't leave a place I've explored. Just strafing everywhere. I don't know if you're biased about cat games being good just because you recently played Spirit Fairer. Tearjerker. So I shoot tears, nice. Part of me thinks this isn't going to be a very good gun, but we'll see. 
Nope, I don't really like that. I'm gonna run back here for that. <laughs> um, let's go here. I'm not doing too bad at clearing this first floor, but the boss is where it's gonna get me because. certain places that like there are like hidden rooms but I haven't really found any hidden rooms nor do I understand where they are so um, I might just be making that up. Oh good. Oh good. This is the first boss I found last time. They do rotate as well. Here he comes. He is swollen as fuck. Rapid fire raptor. Gatling doll. So the bullets are really all over the place. Um, Just keep running in circles. Just keep running in circles. Oh no, I just got a hit. And again. There you go, Gatling Gull. That should be him done. There we are. Gatling Gull's over. That wasn't too bad, actually. Oh no, the pigeons, they're all coming. Are they feasting on him? Go away. Yep, they ate him. They ate him entirely. Nothing like some good old tasty pigeon. Mm -mm. Is this guy just follow me around? Oh, what? That's cool. One second. So I've got... <laughs> He tries passive. Triggers a blank um, on active item use. Raising the gungeon and board of gunfire, he gets excited whenever an item is used. So whenever I use an item, he fires a blank and just follows me around. Come on, blank, you're cute. I like you. Thank you. No more on you, okay. Hey, you're looking pretty beat up. Wanna take a break and come back later? Not this time, talking button. Yeah, we will just continue on to the next level, because that actually went fine. That went surprisingly well. It's going to go horribly now. Because I'm not clever enough for level two. Come on, blank. I've lost them already. Is that a ghost chasing me? Fuck off! I found the ghost. They lost me. Lose my helmet already. I don't like these sniper ones either. Jump, jump. I see you. Oh no, missed you. Missed you. Right. Jump, jump. Oh no, didn't spot him. Did not spot him. What a poor choice. I just thought he was like a like a post box or something. You know that sort of thing that you find normally. Oh god, oh god Josh, calm down, calm down. Sensibly, sensibly, sensibly. It just ramps up massively for level two. Why 
Why aren't you dying? Why won't you die? He's died. Thank Christ. Basically, I've got one more hit. Wait, what? Leave me alone! This is like the second room. Oh, horrible. Horrible. Get away from me, grenade boy. Stressful. I say that as someone who's been playing Resident Evil 8 on and off today, like just trying to do the Village of Shadows run as well. Not even like a nice casual run. I'm doing Village of Shadows. Oh, I'm dead. It had to happen at some point. So yeah, I've died. Killed by blue shotgun kin. Um, Gungeon Marine. 11 minutes. That's not too bad. 66 kills. We can do better. We can do better. What's upsetting, though, is I now lost blank. And we're back into the chamber because I didn't find anyone. Didn't find anyone. You want ghost bullet and chicken? I think there is a story somewhere hidden in this game. I just don't know what it is. Like, I know. Bad example, really, but. Borderlands does have a story, but it very much feels like this is a similar sort of starting vibe of, you know, you're almost like your treasure hunters and people seeking fame. So you're like here to do that. It's like, oh, it's just a floating candle. Okay. Okay. Feels unreal. Let's find another gun. What's this? Ammo capacity up, which is great when I've got infinite ammo. Which is great. Uh, oh, this is an obvious and probably quite a simple pattern, but there's a lot of. This does feel a little bit like that, like Crypto Necrodancer, which carries played for a different. Different one, uh, what was it? Rhythm games. Is it rhythm games? But it's got a similar art style. Ah, idiot. Again, it's another road like where you're not getting a lot of story, you're just pushing forwards with it. Well, that's a bad thing. I like to think of these as um, good podcast games. But I don't know if it is because I think you need a little bit more focus than I would normally have if I was, you know, watching some TV or something like that. Definitely shouldn't have just sidestepped. Oh, I'm just in hell. Save for later. 
don't know what happens when I save it for later. But... So you know where the... Yeah, we know where the shot is. This is where the boss is. Good stuff. Good stuff. We won't be for the shop yet, we'll try and get a bit more. Cash first. Oh. You can slide across tabletops. That's good to know. Oh, that's... So the shop was up here. We can get there. that allows me to fire quicker but we're doing fine for that. We'll hold on to the cash. I don't think I can afford half the stuff anyway. But this way we'll have a little bit more when we get to the shop in the second level if we survive that long. Ah why why is there a thing that's spelling left like spelling words? Your book? Is he an angry book? Oh, it's just a block, but a block makes more sense. Increases its damage output as the clip empties. You've got to wind it. Oh, that's all it is. It makes a, <laughs> uh, a pop goes the weasel song as it reloads, which is fun. I reckon we're going to get a different boss this time. We have. We've got a different boss. In the lead throne, Bullet King. His wife does help as well, so I'm sorry why I don't shoot him early. Changes each time. It... Oh, that's fun. I can't wait for that to fuck me over in a really important moment. Because <laughs> it will. It really will. Down we go. I 
don't like those swords. They remind me of the movie Saw. Um, as I started speaking, I didn't know where I was going with that, and then I feel bad that I ever said it. I'm not sure how I feel about the trick gun. I don't hate it. I will say I hate this fucking dickhead. Slice? I have no idea what that is and I can't afford it. I'll take a full heart. Never lose. Well, I can't take anything else from here. Made that risky jump for no reason. Shoot Brazier. I'll check that in a second. Shoot. Nothing. Nothing is just. What are you? Don't chase me. Bottom bullet and laid down his arm to a ring. I definitely put the game in the wrong gun, but that's fine. Taking that one, okay. I should have switched guns before I offer it a bit. Can't win them all. What's this, a crutch? You need to. I mean, that, that hurts a little, but what does the crutch do? Adds aim assist of a sort. Every bullet fired will try really hard to hit a target, even if aimed incorrectly. I do need it. I can't argue with that. I do need it. I'm 
this up by one of the bullets is where I get an eye patch. I, I, well, it's not the weird thing. They're, they're bullets walking around shooting me. With guns, firing their little versions of themselves. Let's go back here because we haven't cleared the entire floor yet. The game is quite pretty, you are right, Keros. I, I think it is pretty. It's also quite a charming game. Okay, so this is the first room we appeared in. Let's get back in. There's only one other room to go to, and then we have to try and beat a boss. I might just go back and... I have found so m I've got what, two keys now? I've got nowhere to spend them yet. No spend them to unlock them. You know what I mean, is that it's essentially a currency that I've not been able to utilize yet. So the bullets are curving though after I got that thing. Oh nice. Oh sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you. The altar is empty, do nothing, okay. I obviously need to find a big key for this boy. Who would have a big key? Let's go here just because I want to open up that pathway. To you. this point we're gonna have to buy the heart which feels like an overspend but I'm definitely not making it through otherwise you know <laughs> I'm definitely dying um, we're gonna go with the wind-up gun I need to see what this whole thing is it's a snake it's a snake it's an ammo an ammo condo nice Snake over that's really fun. <laughs> oh god, you just rammed into the wall. Oh no. Oh no. No more blanks, I'm only halfway done with them. That's the first time I've ever got past him. <laughs> ah, and here's the big cell key. Great. So we can go back and unlock that door now. The rad gun. 
is totally rad. Is it just because it's got a hat on it? Is it just rad because it's got a hat on it? Semi reload provides stacking benefits for bad enough dudes and chicks. Obviously, just a gun. It's also got a skateboard on it, obviously. There we go. It would be a while before someone would come down here, but seriously, it's been forever. Anyway, we should be back to the shop. It's been closed for way too long. We should come back up top for a little bit which can't miss it. Thank you for rescuing Mistress Cand Candice Candence and this one. I want to score some to the breach. Now, I assume I've I've seen this guy before, but I think I've misunderstood what he is wrong with. Like, I thought his he's missing like an arm, but I didn't think he was missing an arm, and that was like blood coming down from like half an arm. I thought he was literally like got a tiny little hand, um, but it turns out I think he's just missing an arm. But that's fine. Let's teleport here. You know what? We're just gonna keep going because why the why the hell not? Not seen the third floor. Let's just see the third floor, shall we? You think it's a little hand? I see. I thought it was a little hand, and then obviously I've just now looked and gone. No, I don't think it is. Oh, I love Frogger. Oh God! What? What is? What is? What is this? No! Get away from me. Oh, there's more of them! No! Are you a bad man or a good man? You're a bad man, okay. <laughs> Sudden panic as he started charging at me. It's the strong hand. <laughs> it's my strong hand. Yep. I've forgotten I was the one making that noise, but... Sorry, Frogman. Gauging where you'd land. Drum cut. One size fits all. What's that then? Sorry, I'm going in here and just checking on things all the time. I do apologise. Increased magazine capacity for all guns. <laughs> Aim assist and. Increase magazine capacity for all guns. So I'm just making, basically making my guns just bullets. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I was going to say sponges, but that's definitely the wrong word. There are 10 bullets left in this gun. Sad times. <laughs> no! Let me out. Oh no, I've made it so I can't go back across there. Okay. What are you? You look like a displacer beast. There's another one. What? Has he just birthed another one? Stop birthing more of you! Now. 
do die. Okay. That feels like they're all done in here. Cool, let's go to the shops. Let's go to the shops. Treat yourself day. How are you down here? Everything goes up as well the further down you go. What are you? I know I like this, but I'm out of ammo. If you carry a gun, you can have that. I don't understand the rad gun, you can go as well. What are you gonna give me? Oh, a new gun for me. What are you? A lousy t-shirt. Great. Full heart. Sounds like a full heart rather than me. Yeah, we're gonna do it that way. Cool. Off we go. Oh, it literally is a t-shirt gun. Seems to do damage though. We found the boss chamber. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. At least we know where the boss is on this level. Is it also poison? It does. Oh god, oh god, oh god, what the hell? I, could, I didn't realise where I was being shot from. down to one health. Not good. Not good. I don't really want to walk where I've fired the green stuff either, just for fear that I'm also going to take damage. So that will just kill him eventually. Another lock. Lovely. Another big lock for another big key. Hmm. I don't understand what I need to do here, so... I won't be doing anything here because I don't understand the room. Nope, let's not risk it. I've got so little health. <laughs> Everything inside me is trying to think, do I just jump from one minecart to another? But I'm going to fight the urge. The quiet voices in my head. No, I've got no key. everyone on this floor now. Oh, no, we haven't. Let's go down here and take some more damage. Yep, immediately. Immediately lost my armor. But I got half a heart, so I <laughs> didn't really lose anything. God, I've just lost it again. Great. I don't have much faith I'm going to get much further than this. Oh. What are you doing, little mushroom boy? I like the mushroom. He looks cute, but I don't know what he's doing. Does he make those little blobby things? Oh, 
Oh no, I shouldn't run through that stuff. Good to know. Right, I have all of one hit left, a half a heart. Nowhere else to go, I can't afford anything. Let's just see what this new boss is going to be. He doesn't look friendly. Oh, he's a fucking skull. He's death. Cannonball rock. Wasted those already. No, no, we got killed. God damn it. I mean, 156 kills is a big jump up from where we were. So if I return to the breach now. Um, I'll go and look at that shop that we got set up. Because like, you still change at any point. Um, nope. I know what I'm doing with this guy. That's not the shop. Although that guy does have a dog. Well, she has a dog. Roll, roll. Um. So we now can buy stuff. Um. To find, to find in the dungeon, I think. In the dungeon, I think. As we have enough, I'm just going to buy everything. But there's nothing else to get there, so we've got a bunch of things that we could potentially find in there. And now we have to try and do the whole run again, I think. Because we haven't found the next character who allows us to go to start on different levels. I miss my t-shirt cannon. I, I miss my more Flound Flounders murdering device. God, I've got my words all mouthed up then. They were all dumb diddly dumb dumb. I think this is where I start falling apart because I know I've got past them before. Like, I don't want to be on here. I try and rush through it, and then I take damage early, and then I'm on the back foot for every other level. Feels like it's gonna be the same one. You'd be so you so fucking dumb. It's like it's dodging in this. And I mean, and dodging is the big thing for this one. I feel like I'm gonna keep hold of that. It it really is all about dodging, avoiding the bullets that way. It's, which is counterintuitive to almost every game I play. Because every game I play, I just try and tank hits and survive. I just can't help myself. 
I'm a simple boy. That one looks like the BFG from Doom. It is a big fucking gun. It is a big fucking gun. Fighting the boss. God damn it, again. Right. I blame the crossbow. I shouldn't blame the crossbow, but I do blame the crossbow. Some great paintings in here, just just some great appreciators of art. Look at that. What a beautiful picture. Kills there when I should just kill them. Nope, nothing here. Um, well, there's a chest there, but I can't open it because I have no money. Well, no keys. Oh, Honestly, I'm not poor. Bullet casings for days. There he is, hiding in the corner. What have you got here, sir? The key's 25, we're buying the key. We're buying the key. Should've bought half the heart, really, but I can't help it. I saw, we had a chest. Where was the chest? Here? Wait, what? No, I didn't know that. If you don't open the chest there and then, do they destroy it? What a horrible thing to do to me. What a waste of my money. Who are we against? Oh, we're against the, the only other boss they've got here. The Bullet Bros. Trigger Twins. First floor boss. First first floor boss. First first floor boss. I can't even say it. First first floor boss to have killed me there. The trigger twins. Cheating by having two of them. Making me look like a right fucking bucket. So, because this game doesn't have a huge amount of, you know, differences, what looks ominous? Um, let's do a couple more runs. We're going to try and get back down to at least the third floor now. Well, it did look on this. Okay. Not sure what bit did, but being shot at in general makes me feel pretty uneasy. 
Maybe, was it like the book afterwards where they were shot? Oh no, don't run towards them. Immediately started running towards the exploding boys. So it says save for later. I press X. When do I get to use it later and where is it saved to? Who knows? But at least it's not going to them. That's how I look at it. At least they're not getting it. Ah! Hello, you just there in the corner. Like fucking REM over here. Get rid of the ghost. Get rid of the ghost. I have to change weapon then realise I have no other weapon because I started another run. I think my cash carries over there, I might be wrong, because I have a lot more now. So sometimes it might be right just to farm up on the first level, buy a ton of shit, and just, just make it through. It's quite a big room this one, you just see the non-stop enemies. Though, I should just roll through them. It worked out in the end, but... Oh, hello. Shotgun full of love. Kills with kindness. Deals damage and potentially charms enemies. The preferred weapon of Hespera, the pride of Venus. A beloved gungeoneer. Fun. Like, they put a lot of time and effort into these weapons, I will say that, they... <laughs> Sorry about that, I do apologise. Oh, something hit me. Did it turn them into, like, puppies or something? Oh, he's shooting on my behalf now. Oh, it fires. It fires them. Okay. I thought he was turning them into it, but it literally shoots puppies or something. There should be like a hidden passage. Or like, why would there be just a big empty room? Am I missing part of the game? Oh, 
great. Is that just the map of this entire place? Because I've already been to pretty much everywhere now. Let's just check there's no hidden things. I don't know what that is. That's the boss room up there. Let's... You know what, let's go down through that and then we're going to teleport up to here and see if there's like... What are you? You look like a ladder or something. Um, this is my fourth run. We managed to make it to the third level of the Gungeon. This looks like a hidden room. How do I get behind here? Or is there no hidden room here? But on the map, they clearly indicate there's something up there, and this looks like... Doesn't it? Why did I think those wee feathers? What? Oh, those were feathers. Um, they're pages from books. Yes. Yeah, they are. I mean, it's fair. I've been shooting birds as well. Right, I can't work out how to get behind there. But it does scream hidden passage, doesn't it? Oh, well. Let's go over here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then we will go and fight the boss and hope it's not the trigger twins. But they don't stand a chance against my shotgun full of love. Good. It's King Bullet or whatever his fucking name is. Bullet King. Close. of the first three bosses that we can get. Well, I don't know what any of those things were. But like, in here, it looks like I'm about to get a bunch of other stuff, but is it just because I'm going down a level, or is there stuff over to the side and I've just not remembered a button or something? Down we go. As we said, we're going to try and get down to third floor again. I think dying to the third floor boss wasn't too bad. Oh no, I pushed the wrong button. Oh well. Might as well grab it as in here. Excuse me. So second floor boss we had was um, Amoconda, the snake boss, unsurprisingly named like Amoconda, and then we died to the Cannon Bullrog uh, on that run. Was, he was mean. And also, we had only one hit available, and we managed to get him down to about, I want to say half health, but I don't even know if that was as close as we got. Did they explode? For some reason, I thought they were exploding, but apparently not. 
I'll check the description in a second to see if I'm not pushing a button that I meant to. Right, that's this area. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. You just boot, you're just booting this up. Watch you play it makes you want to play it. <laughs> that's it is one of those games that's fun to play. You like you just see reload explode ah. So if I shoot and then reload, it'll explode. Brilliant. Good. Got it now. It's a game that you can also be competitive with, you know? Oh, God. Thank you. Well, I'm annoyed they took my shield off, but... Also, I am skirting the edge. You don't like roguelike massively, but this does look like fun. I mean, I I do like a roguelike. I really do. I mean, we got one of my, well, we've got Returnal coming up when you play it. Um, not sure if it's next week or the week after, Karis. But Returnal is brilliant as a roguelike. There's a bunch of other ones. Hades is great fun as well. Thoroughly recommend Hades. But I think, again, Hades does a lot because it's setting. That was upsetting. I wasn't expecting to go in that direction. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, God. This has all gone horribly wrong very quickly. As it is known to do. I do think this is quite a good introductory um, one. It's not going to say one, but I think it's quite a good introductory roguelike because it gives you all the basic sort of ideas of what a roguelike is, and it's quite concise in what it's doing. I know the altar's empty. I don't seem to have anything to put on said altar. I also have no idea what this gun does, so let's just oh, it just fires really quickly. And there's a hammer at the end. Let's just check out what it does well before I start using it. Originally crafted by a gunsmith who favoured revolvers, but was more envious of the automatic weaponry being developed by his peers. He seems like he accidentally left one of his tools in the clip. Right. Oh yeah, you fire a hammer at the end. Great. <laughs> just wanted to see what happened. <laughs> of you doing that for me. I do appreciate it. It's a very big jump though, isn't it? Can I make that jump? Oh, you can. Yeah. 
Should have used a table, but uh, it wasn't in the right location. As always, the tables are just feel worthless. Lovely stuff. So what have you given me? A grappling hook. Nice. That's an R2 ability. So this is like you can get out of where I am quite quickly. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's check it out. Let's see what it says. Um, a quick way to get around or to bring an item to you. you can briefly stun enemies. Oh, is it not a one-time use either? Oh, no, but it, yeah, cool. That's good. Now it's reloading. Nice. No. Gee, great. Is they, are they going to destroy my chest again when I leave? Did last time. They were very mean to me. I imagine this is leading to the boss room. And um, we got 57, so we'll go back to the guy, we're going to buy some stuff, and then we're going to take on the level 2 boss. Who I hope isn't Amoconda, because we've already seen Amoconda. Thank you. Um, I can buy that. Oh, what are you? A drill? Yeah, I can't afford that. Of course I can't. Um, Do it, do it. I should have gone for the full heart, but the greedy person in me wants to see what's in this chest. I can't help myself. I want to know what's in the chest. Oh, hello. Nice. Worth it. Correct choice. Well done, Josh. Greed has worked out in your favour once again. <laughs> right, what are we going to go in here with? We'll go with uh, the hammer gun. Oh, no, we got someone different. Some sort of beholder. The Beholster? Oh, almost in the hole. Almost in the hole. Almost in the hole. No. Good. Woo! What a little... <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, is he crying because his friend's dead? There you go. Out of your misery. No. No pity for him. Hello. Hello again, Button. So we made it to the third floor again. That's not bad. That's not bad. For me, really not bad. Oh god. Oh, Albert. that's where I'm struggling. You think you found the best gun you've ever had in this game, so your first run is going swimmingly. Well, I'd like to say congratulations. I'm not upset at all. That's out of ammo as well. Good God, everything is out of ammo. I've got two guns of ammo. My, my favourite weapon I've had that was really good was like the crown of guns. When you wear a crown, it just fire all round. guns with a little bit of ammo. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's really going to help me. Oh, fuck me. Get away with your bullshit, Mr. Mushroom.
Where have you gone? Up. Yeah. See that? It's just... You go down a floor after you've gotten used to the difficulty of a floor and then it's like, ah oh, yeah, we're gonna absolutely destroy you now. Mr. Laser Boys, you looked you looked nice and chill, but uh, you were a risk. Oh, hello! What are you? The Homogeny Rifle? Is that what it's called? The no hegemony, 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 hegemony. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, this is the scrambler, which damages on impact, uh, then hatches five tiny birds. Which homing on enemies to do swarm out. That's a really good gun that you found there. Uh, the standard issue rifles for all hegemony man of of man soldiers packs a decent punch, but the actually leaves much to be desired. Oh no! So no, it seems okay. I thought it was gonna be like stormtrooper style, <laughs> then where it's just gonna fire around the person. We'll soon find out. Yeah, this thing is really good. So let's not use all the ammo yet. We want to try and get further. Okay. None of your shit, please, sir. Oh, why did I get hit by that? That was upsetting. You just kill the rest of them, please, mate. Thank you. And now I will kill you. That might be the best gun we found so far on this run, which is the shotgun full of love. Where it can charm people as well, and then they can fight for you, which just feels great when it works, but... I know me, I know I just love to keep firing. Oh god. Is that all from just here? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, that guy, that guy's out. Guess we're using this one. Shut out octopus arms. Thank you. Oh, is, there, is this a bomb now? Yeah. What is going on this level? This is unreal. Excuse me. No little bird. Can't reach the shop. What was upsetting, Paris? Probably was. Oh, some ammo for me. Some ammo for me? Thank you. I think it gives you like 20% ammo, which is. Oh, you're laughing. You see, that was upsetting. Oh! There you go. You can have some blood. I don't know what that what I've done there by offering up some blood, but sometimes you have to listen to the urges. Go away, Cthulhu. Hello again! I am still alive. You thought I was dead. <laughs> Basically. Well, I guess I won't refill ammo. I can 
take a key or half a heart. None of those are particularly good on their own. Let's gamble with the key. We haven't come across any yet, have we, either? I don't think we have, no. Oh, this is not looking good as a run at this point. I'm not feeling confident anymore. Okay, that's the boss room. Let's go check out this room. some sort of healing at this point. Um, hammer gun, I think. Why was the debris falling from the sky? A vengeful spirit? What have I picked up now? Deals damage to enemies when bearer is wounded. So basically if I get hurt it will deal vengeance on them. Nice, I like that. But Oh, it's this weird room again that I've got no idea how to use. Right, out we go then. We'll leave that room as I don't understand it. We have 12, 12 bullet cases, which is nothing. We have one half heart, which is nothing. We're going to die in the next room, but we're going to try our best. Try our best is all we can do. Oh, who are we against this time? The Mind Flayer. Um, like that. Let's return to the breach and see if there's anything else there for me to purchase or do. How upsetting. How upsetting. I thought that was going well then, but um, I think running out of uh, health. Before I got there, some, sometimes I feel like I should just push, reach a boss and go, you know what, I've got a lot of health here. I should just go in. But I just can't help but go, well, I want to clear everything. Oh, my arm was caught in the shifting walls below, so he did lose his arm. It's not a little arm. It's not a little hand saying hello. Just take a happy face to him. Nice. Right, we're going to do one more run. We're going to do one more run and see how far we can get. 
This will be the last one. And it will be wonderful. So he drops feathers. Definitely drops feathers from him. The book's shooting letters at me. It's just weird. Let's just try and get through this first level I've been here. It's the big thing. I don't know if he's going to give me a big heal. Excuse. Excuse the bird. Nice, 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 nice. Right, we got through there. Got through it. Just about. Save that for later. Hmm? Hmm. No, so many birds. Shotman's through there. I knew the first shot was going to be at that barrel as well, which is why I tried to run far away from it. Hey, Tomahawk, hope you're doing all right. Assume <laughs> on paternity, but that's not a resting time. So yeah, nice to see you, dude. This is. It's delightful in its own way. It is stress-inducing. A heart, lunchbox, a healthy meal. What have I got? Adds one heart container. The miners who originally dug out the black powder mines carried their meals in boxes like these. Cool, so I've got extra heart, which is lovely. I mean, it's so delightful that Darren has been watching me play it and has now started up his own version of it as well to play. <laughs> Because I think, it's, I don't know if the first one is, but it's on, I think it's on PS Plus? On the, ex, not the extra, wherever the middle tier is, I believe, to stream, which is always good. Um, I don't need anything from there. Um, I could take the key. I could take the potion of lead skin. No, I can't get either of those. Let's just move into another place. Is that the boss room? Oh, that's interesting. It's going below this time. Podcast paternity is going well. Eldest child's been running around shouting, praise the sun. And then you is... <laughs> and then you is just sleeps and is chill. So you've got two different um, people from Dark Souls in your house, is what you're saying. Your eldest is Solaire, running around, praising the sun. I'm trying to think of this... Name the sleepy one in Dark Souls. I can't. I can't. Hello. Oh, you got a big flail thing. I'll be honest, I don't like a big flail. Go away. Go away, sir. Nothing here. Just running, just trying to find. Hell over this. What was that? Mailbox? It just shoots mail. And then the last one is a package. Lovely stuff. I'm all about that as a gun. <laughs> doesn't feel like it's that effective. Doesn't feel horrible though. But I haven't reloaded just some of the package in there, so. Oh, it's a big box as well, just let's see. Oh, that's doing okay. On oh, each package is different, so they're not always poison. That last one is explosive. Nice, okay, that's fun. Uh, I think this area is completed. 56. No, we don't need to buy anything, so I'm not going to buy anything. I'm going to take it down to the next floor, because it's better for me to conserve it until I need it. 
Oh, we're back against the Gatling Gull, or whatever his name is. Come on, flex on us. Your boy's buff. Oh, look at him go. Thank you. Day Ruiner. Kill a boss after covering it with glitter. What a strange trophy to have in here, but I'm glad I managed to get it. <laughs> Rocket powered bullets. Faster bullets. I mean, it's Vul it is Vulcan Raven. No. <laughs> uh, we won't go back up. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. I just want to make it past the third floor. That'd be, that'd be, I mean, I mean, to be honest, I didn't think I'd make it to the third floor, and I've managed to make it there twice in this run. Oh, street as well. Hello. Fuck me. I was just standing in fire there, wasn't I? And poison. I'm still on fire. Great. One and a half. Take it off me. That's horrible. Stasis effects, man. God, oh dear, oh no. Oh, ver what has happened? This was going so well. Oh God, oh God. no. All gone to fucking pop very quickly. Oh, horrible time. That was rubbish. Very upset by that run. <laughs> he can't. Uh, he can't help himself. He can't help himself. We'll keep going, we'll keep going. Goal is about a two hour stream for this, because let's be honest, it's not like lots of changing. We've seen what the game is, and that's what the point of the episode streams are, is to showcase the game. Oh. Excuse me. No more of your shit, please, sir. Why don't you just go carry across your lost my helmet as well. I'm getting into frustrated mode. Right. I mentioned I will do all this because I'll feel like I shouldn't be on this level. I'll push too fast, push too hard, I'll make mistakes. Oh. Nice. That box had a key in it. Oh, that's fun. Lots of fire. Let's burn this place down. It doesn't do a lot of damage, man. It feels like it should, but... that thing that was carrying, which feels a little mean, but eh. Don't be around the rest of the monsters. 
Wrong place, wrong time. That's what I can say. Yeah, that's what I can say. Excuse me, boys. Places to be, bullets to kill. Let's go back up. I'm gonna try and I'm trying to run this as quick as possible without losing health. Yeah. My multiplier is full, so down here we'll go. in too quickly. Guys, why are you coming back in? Just, do, just die, drop your little caps and let me move on my way. That's all I need to do. I like the sound of knife shields, so I took the knife shields. There are times you just have to go with your gut, and that's what that was. Lovely stuff. Just a simple sawn off shotgun. Nice. Yeah, boy. Getting all sorts of guns very early on. Which makes me nervous that this is run's going to really mess up shortly. How much damage are you doing? We'll check to see how much damage is. See if it's worthwhile. Come on, Bullet King. We'll take you and your wife on. Does it feel like you're really worth the time, are you? I don't think we're actually hitting them though. Well with the guns I've got, but none of them are actually worth their time. I mean, this, though, that range of, like, red dots coming towards me, like that, really is giving me flashbacks to a certain, uh, Eternal boss. I cannot remember the name of it, but it gave me so much problems. So many problems. So many problems. Oh, you can tell it's been a long week. I can't even speak at the moment. Just rambling and making no sense. Which I'm trying to claim is different to normal. We got past it. He hit us twice, which is more than I wanted it to be. 
Nice. But we, oh, hello. What are you? I mean, you look cool, so hopefully you're a good gun. Reload to reflect nearby bullets. Okay. Yeah, you look, you look fun. It's strange. Normally, we'd have, I'd have found the. Uh, there's normally a guy that's down in these tunnels that you meet. He's like, "Hey, I'm surveying the area." He's just not shown up yet. And these floors are like bloody. You get a Metal Gear Solid one. PTSD when I'm dressed trying to sneak past guards. when I was definitely a web coming towards me. Let's go and have a little look in the shop, see if he's got anything worthwhile. Bullet time? Ah, oh, yeah. Scope. I don't really need a scope. Do I need a key? We'll hold on to all of this for now. Just keep exploring. We do find the boss. I think we'll just take the boss. Not because I'm feeling cocky, I just want to get down to the next level. This again, but I don't have anything to put. And the altar. But it feels like there's a lot more to this than I can work out. What it is, I'm not sure, but as I can certain, I can't work it out. I'm gonna have to. Who are you? Uh, let's have a look. Briefly absorbs enemy bullets and converts them into ammo. Oh, okay. Let's just clear the map then. We've started. So we'll finish. I can fucking doing mastermind over here. I've taken a lot more damage than I should have done. I should have come to this room. 
Oh, I pushed the wrong button and I found the hole. Great. Let's go back to him. What, some awful play money then? Spent all my money now, but we are back up to full health. Um, I don't think it's worth going off to this one other room. Let's just... Let's just go. Right, we've got him again. He wasn't too bad with the holster. But now I've said it, I'm going to We shall return to the breach, my friends, and we will call it there. Discount Podcast.